Hello my loves and welcome back to my beauty channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my June superstars and epic fails. Let me just say, how is it that we just started 2016 and we're already halfway through the year? I don't know where time is flying, but it's freaking me out. So to brighten up the mood, I'm gonna be telling you guys about all the products that I have been loving for the month of June and something that I have not been loving so much. So without further ado, if you wanna know what my June superstars and epic fails are, please keep watching. So the first product I'm going to talk about has honestly been a lifesaver in my overall skincare routine. A couple months ago, my skin started to go really crazy on me. I never, ever in my life had breakouts. I might have had maybe one or two before that time of the month and then that's it. It would clear up and it would be like as if nothing ever happened. Recently, I've been experiencing some breakouts, especially on this side of my face, as you can probably see a little bit. It is much, much better now, but about a month ago, this side of my face just look insane. I don't know what was going on with my face and I was really distraught about it because as soon as some pimples would go away, a few more would pop out. And not only that, but once the pimples would go away, I felt like scar would just stick around. So recently I discovered rosehip oil. This is 100% organic, pure and natural cold pressed premium grade A rosehip oil. I got this off of Amazon. It's a four ounce bottle and I bought it for about 10 to $15. Rosehip oil is known to reduce the appearance of stretch marks and acne scarring. And honestly, it has made such a big difference. Not only did I notice that I was breaking out a lot less but my acne scars are finally starting to go away and fade so I'm so so happy that I picked this up and I would highly recommend it especially if you have drier skin I put this on before I go to bed and in the morning my skin feels so hydrated and so moisturized and my acne scars are diminished so I'm going to find the link and link it down for you in the description box below for those of you who are interested the next product I want to talk about is a product that I actually have been using for about a year or two now and unfortunately I have not been able to find this product in Canada but every time I am in the US or every time one of my relatives come to visit Toronto from the US I always ask them to pick up a bottle of this stuff for me because it's that good and I re fell in love with it this month since it's summertime now and I want to have a little bit of a glow and the product I'm talking about is Alba Botanica very emollient sunless tanner it says it's a golden tan without the sun it doesn't have any parabens or phthalates or has any animal testing on it and it has a 100% vegetarian ingredients. So what I use this for is to self tan my face. This is the only self tanner that I've been able to use on my face that doesn't break me out. I do use another self tanner for the rest of my body and I find that that one is a little bit too harsh for my face and, and very drying. This one does not dry out my skin whatsoever and it gives my skin a beautiful sun kissed glow. It is not too harsh. I love the consistency of it and I'm so so happy with this. I love it so much that I already have a backup of it. I'm gonna do some serious research and see if this is available now somewhere in Canada and internationally as well. So the next product I wanna talk about is a product that I've had for about two months or so and I kind of had a love-hate relationship with it. And the reason why I had a love-hate relationship with it is because I really love the product. I found that this product was a really, really good quality but when I applied it to my face, it was just a disaster. And the product I'm talking about is the Besame Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder and the Besame Brightening Vanilla Powder. Basically, this is a light pink powder and this is a light yellow powder. Both of them are brightening. Both of them have such a beautiful consistency, but for some reason, when I applied the product under my eyes or anywhere else I placed my concealer, I found that it would just get really cakey and it just drove me up the wall because when you open it up, this powder is just so, so beautiful. It smells amazing and I wanted to use it so badly and I have two of them. I really didn't want to throw it away. So basically, it comes in packaging like this where there's a lid, there's a little powder puff and this opens up like that and the powder comes out through this little sifter. So what I started doing is I took off this little sifter and instead of using this little powder puff to set my concealer, I took my damp beauty blender and tapped it into here a little bit and just pressed it into the areas that I applied my concealer and it gives me the most beautiful airbrushed finish. It's absolutely insane. I don't know if you can see my under eye area from where the camera is, but my under eye literally looks airbrushed. There's no creasing whatsoever. It looks like 
perfection and it's all because of this powder so my tip is if you're planning on getting this powder or if you have this powder and you haven't been successful using it with this little powder puff that it comes with try using it with a damp beauty blender and then press it into your skin wherever you apply concealer and it's amazing. As I said, I have two of them. I have the vanilla powder, which is this yellow powder. And this one I like to use more when I have a tan because I find that it complements my tan a little bit more. It gives me that golden brightening finish that I really, really like. And this pink one I find works much better when I'm on the paler side. As always guys, everything that I'm talking about in my videos will be linked in the description box below. The next product I wanna talk about, I'm sure many, many people have been talking about this and are super excited about it is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Face Palette. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I cannot rave about this product enough. It is such a beautiful palette, perfect for on the go. You get two beautiful highlights. Obviously you get the classic champagne pop and you get the new Prosecco pop. Champagne pop is more of a champagne-y peachy highlight and Prosecco pop is more of a light gold highlight with a little bit of a yellowish undertone. And then you get these three blushes. Now this one in the middle is called Amaretto. This one over here is called Rose Spritz and this one over here is called Pomplamousse. Personally, I love this palette because I think that it is extremely, extremely versatile. So first of all, I love using the highlighters on their own or I like mixing them together. So today I mixed Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop on my cheekbones and on my inner corner, on my nose and on my lip. And the blushes are also absolutely amazing. I actually did a full tutorial on them, which is coming really, really soon. I actually used these blushes as eyeshadows. Today I mixed uh, Pomplamousse and rose spritz on the apples of my cheeks and amaretto is supposed to be a blush sometimes i do use it for as a blush if i want just a little bit of something on my cheeks but i don't want it to be too much or if i have a very bold eye look and i want a more subtle looking blush i use a little bit of amaretto or if you're more on the paler side you can get away with using amaretto as an all over bronzer rose spritz is also a really beautiful blush topper but i just like mixing these two together i have worn them separately as well and they're both just as gorgeous. I'm actually planning a European little getaway for three weeks with my husband and I'm definitely going to be taking this with me because it's so so versatile and it comes in this beautiful palette. Not only is it beautiful but it's also like very very sturdy. I feel like all of my products will be super safe in here so I'm definitely going to be taking this with me. Another thing I picked up from the Champagne Glow collection was the Champagne Glow Eye Palette. Now there's a lot of controversy about this palette and actually they discontinued it. They won't be releasing it anymore so if you didn't get your hands on it unfortunately you will not be able to get your hands on it but if you do have this palette you know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately what happened was Becca was in a time crunch and they outsourced these palettes to a new factory and about 70% of the palettes got botched. So a lot of the palettes that people received were very chalky and didn't blend very well. Fortunately, I was one of those people that received the good palette. I actually really love my palette. All of these shadows are very, very pigmented. I don't want to talk about this palette too much because it is not available anymore, but I just wanted to put it out there that there are some palettes that turn out really, really good. And if you were one of the lucky ones that got your hands on one of the good ones, you know what I'm talking about. It's an amazing amazing versatile natural palette for every day it's another product that is amazing to travel with the next products I want to talk about is something that I had no idea that I would love as much as I love and the products I'm talking about are the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick trio you get three contour sticks you get a contour shade a bronzing shade and a highlight shade these are all cream sticks I never thought that I would like cream contours or highlights or bronzing sticks but these blend out like a dream. I already used these in a couple of my tutorials. I did a whole no nose contour video on it. I included them in my uh, blue brown smoky eye tutorial last month. So I'm absolutely in love with them. I also got my sister-in-law obsessed with them. They're so, so good. I would highly recommend them and I cannot rave about them enough. The next product I wanna talk about is another very, very versatile product and it is from Nude Stick. Now I have three of their Lip and Cheek 
balms that I want to talk about today. I have Pulse, Fate, and Lux. So I want to talk about Fate first because this is probably the most versatile lip and cheek balm from their entire collection. And it is a very nude, glossy balm. So when I swatch it on my hand, as you can see, it takes on whatever your skin tone is. This is universally flattering. You can wear it no matter what skin tone you are. And the reason why I love it so much is because you can use it for so many different things. You can put it on your cheekbones and blend it out with your fingers to add a little bit of a natural glow to your skin. You can add it in the inner corners of your eyes. You can add it to your lips to moisturize your lips. You can even put it over shadow to make any matte shadow or any shimmery shadow just more enhanced and have that glossy wet look. I love this. It's so amazing and I would highly highly recommend it. The next color I have is called Lux. Now this is a beautiful kind of dusty pink color. I feel like this color would also be very flattering on a lot of different skin tones and I love using this on its own and I love using it topping it over a liquid lipstick. It's highly highly moisturizing and it's absolutely beautiful and I also like wearing this on my cheeks. And the last one that I have is a bit more of a deeper color and this one is called Pulse and this one has a little bit more of a mauve undertone in it. It's also a really really beautiful color to be honest I've only used this one on my lips so far I haven't used it on my cheeks because I feel like it's a little bit too dark for my cheeks but nevertheless it's still a beautiful color and I love the formulation the next product I want to talk about has literally changed my entire concealer game I have tried the NARS radiant creamy concealer I love that concealer I've also tried the new Too Faced born this way concealer which is not bad but this concealer takes the cake especially if you have dry to normal skin like i do this concealer will change your life and i'm talking about the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer i'm in the shade light this concealer is everything it is the most smooth and i can't even describe it the only way i can describe this concealer is magical it's just magical it's unicorn tears in a freaking tube not only is the product absolutely amazing it gives you full coverage hydrates your skin blends out like a dream but I also love this applicator I literally need to take it out one time and one time is enough to do both my under areas between my brows and on my chin and along my nose has really changed my concealer game it doesn't cake up on me it blends out beautifully it layers really really well it lasts all day long I can't say enough good things about this concealer and I wish that more beauty gurus would be talking about this because honestly it is a life changer if you are a fan of NARS radiant creamy concealer this is NARS radiant creamy concealer on steroids speaking of NARS I received a little NARS blush in one of my my point perks at Sephora this is the shade Gulu it is the most beautiful blush it's like a dusty rose with a slight hint of mauve in it it's absolutely amazing I've worn it already a couple times and I think it's a beautiful color not only for the summertime but all year round it's a very very versatile shade and I feel like it's also very universally flattering so I'm gonna swatch it for you over here so you can see what it looks like and as you can see, when you put it on the skin, it just has the slightest hint of luminosity to it. It has a slight pinkish gold reflex in it. I know that when I ran out of this little sample size, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the full size because that's how much I love it. And again, I also love this small little size because it's perfect for traveling. So when I'm going to be going on that European getaway very soon, I'm definitely going to be taking this with me. The next product I'm going to talk about is a product that has honestly given me so much inspiration inspiration to create so many different looks. I'm so happy I discovered them and I definitely want to expand my collection, not only in this specific brand that I'm going to talk about right now, but in this specific product overall. And what I'm talking about are the MAC pigments. So I have the shade blue brown and I have the shade rose. If you watch my blue brown smoky eye tutorial, you would have seen me putting this to use. I absolutely love this, especially if you have brown hazel eyes. Oh, this color is insane. It's going to enhance your eyes and just make them pop. You'll be able to see them from outer space. It's just insane. And the other color that I have is rose. And, and this is such a stunning, 
rose color with some gold reflex in it. It is such a gorgeous shade. I did do a tutorial on this that will be coming on my beauty channel very, very, very soon. So do look out for that. And I'm going to swatch them for you on my hands so you can see how insane they are. I'm just gonna get a shader brush. Let's use you today. And obviously if you have a glitter glue underneath, it's going to look a lot more pigmented, but let me just show you guys an idea of what it looks like. How stunning is that so this has like a grayish brown base it's like a taupey brown base with a beautiful turquoise blue reflex in it it's so stunning like every time i wear it i get so many compliments on it i can't i can't even begin to explain to you so again this is blue brown from mac and i'm just going to take my little sephora color switch sponge just get off all of that pigment on this brush so that i can swatch the rose shade for you and this is the rose shade again it's not coming off that great because i don't have any glue on my hand or glitter glue but you can get the idea so the base is a rosy base and it has some glitter reflex through it it's also such a stunning shade and again if you have brown or hazel eyes like i do this shade is really going to make your eyes pop and my last favorite of the month i want to talk about is another product that i'm wearing on my face and it is this lip color every time i wear this lip color whether it is on my youtube channel or it's on instagram i get so many of you asking asking me what color it is and the color that I'm wearing on my lips today is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serenity. I believe this was a collaboration between Manny MUA and Gerard Cosmetics and he created the most beautiful, most flattering, nudish pink liquid lipstick of life. I literally wear this liquid lipstick every single day. I'm already out of it. I'm at the point where I'm scraping out the edges. That's how much I love it. And I need to get it back up stat. As you can see, it's the perfect pinky nude. It's super, super flattering. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. The formulation is also pretty good. I do have liquid lipsticks that are better in formulation. They are a little bit sticky, like just a hair sticky, and they are a little bit drying, but Honestly, all the liquid lipsticks I've ever tried are a little bit drying. It's not drying to the point where it is uncomfortable. It's very, very long wearing. I can eat a full meal with this and I'll have very minimal lipstick that comes off only on the inside and this layers on very, very well. So all I have to do is touch it up quickly and I'm good to go. So if you guys are looking for a really good, affordable liquid lipstick, I would highly recommend Serenity by Gerard Cosmetics. On to my epic fail. So this month's epic fail is such a disappointment. I am so upset that I do not love this product because there is so much good feedback about this particular product and brand that I so badly wanted to love it and I gave it a good few chances and it just failed on me every single time. And the product I'm talking about is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and I have the shade Tesoro, tesoro, tesoro. Anyways, I was super excited when I got this color because this is a stunning, like a reddish coral color. And I was looking for a really beautiful red coral color for summer. I love reddish oranges. And when I swatched it on my hand in the store, it swatched beautifully. Like, how can you not love this color? It looks beautiful on the hand and it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. It has like a very creamy formulation. So I thought I would absolutely love it, but I don't. Basically, my first experience with this liquid lipstick was when I wore it to a party and I put it on my lips. Everything was all fine and dandy. It looked beautiful, perfect. Everyone was complimenting me. Then a few hours into the party, I was talking a lot, eating, moving my lips around, and I felt my lips were just shriveling up. They were getting so dry, so uncomfortable. It got to the point that I was just so uncomfortable. I couldn't even engage in any of the conversations I was having and I had to leave and go to the bathroom and see what was up. And when I got to the bathroom and looked at myself in the mirror, I had the definition of butthole mouth. My entire inner rim of my mouth, first of all, not only did I have nothing left there, but everything on the edges was all white and all crumbly. My lips were literally crumbling off. It was an absolute disaster. My lips look horrendous. I don't even know how no one said anything to me the entire night. That's besides the point. So I tried to fix the situation by trying to remove all the crustiness and then reapply the liquid lipstick to see if I could cover it up and, you know, save my lips. The same thing 
happened. Let me just say that before I even applied this liquid lipstick, I made sure to exfoliate my lips and I moisturized them really, really well. And then I went in with this. And I do have another Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in a different shade that doesn't do this. I'm not sure if it's only this particular color, or maybe I just got a botched liquid lipstick. I don't know what it is, but this color just did not work for me at all. I wish it did because the color itself is absolutely stunning, but the formulation just did not work for me. And unfortunately, this was an epic fail. Okay guys, so that wraps up my June Superstars and Epic Fails. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found some of these products helpful. Let me know what products you have been loving for the month of June in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Instagram to stay connected with me. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video.